Okay, so if I wanted to make his eyes glow, um, first I'm just going to bring the lights up. So I'm going to turn on the environment, and I'm going to put it on orthographic, just so everything is nice and and cl and clear. Um, and also, I'm going to turn off the background plane. So first, I'm going to add a sphere. And to make it easier, I'm just going to snap it to the left. And I'll validate it. Subdivide it twice. I'm going to use the split tool. Make sure this is in focus. So I'm going to use the split tool and I'm just going to split the uh, the front part of the eye. And I'll use the rectangle to just kind of make that easier. Figure out about how big I want it to be. Seems good. There we go. So now we have the eyeball and we have the, uh, the iris. There's actually another step that I can do that I should have done. So before I split it, I'm just going to duplicate this and I'm going to make the one on top. I'm going to rename it cornea. So we'll come back to that later. But when I make my sphere, I always duplicate it. So now we have our eye and now we'll just do the same thing that we did. We'll, uh, we'll just split it. Okay. Split rectangle. Okay, so now our eye is split, and I'm going to go ahead and color these, just basic colors. It doesn't matter if this is rough, because we're going to do a cornea. And I'm going to rename, I'm going to rename this piece, Iris. Okay, so now we have the base of the eye. We have one split, and I'm going to color this black. And the next thing I'm going to do is split again. So now we have the black, and this is actually just going to be a rim around the iris. So I'm going to use the split tool again. And we don't, it doesn't need to be that thick. So now I made another split, and this piece is actually going to be uh, the color. So let's say if we want like a nice glowing blue. Okay, so that's good for now. So now we have our glowing blue, and then we're going to make another split, and we're just going to, I'm going to change this to blue color, just so I can keep track of my layers. So make sure that's the blue. So then we're going to use split again. And we're going to split the tip, like so. We'll make sure we're on the bottom. And I'm going to rename that pupil. Make sure that's the right. OK. And now I'm going to color that black. Alright, so now we pretty much have, our eye is, is actually pretty good right now. So that's pretty much how we have our eye. So now to, in order to make it glow, so we're going to go to the blue color and duplicate it. And I'll bring it up so it's right underneath. And I'm going to rename the top one, blue add. Okay, so the top one is going to be an additive. So we're going to go to the material layer and change that to additive. And then we're going to hit always unlit. And you can already see it has a nice glow to it. You can change the opacity here. Okay, so now we have to insert it into his face. And there's no really easy way that I figured out how to 
kind of do this. Well, there's one other step too. I wanted to add the cornea. So let's go back to the cornea and just use the gizmo and make it a little bigger. It doesn't have to be much bigger. And I'm going to make this an additive as well. And the reason why I'm making it an additive is because if I use refraction, then the glow won't show through the glassy layer. But we still want it to be nice and glassy. So we'll go to our materials, we'll go to additive, and let's see if I can remember. Oh, I need to change the color. So let's change the color of this additive to black. We'll take away the roughness. Zero roughness. Uh, paint all. And now it's nice and glossy. So let me get rid of this, the, the post, the, um, the blurs. We'll just turn post-processing off to get a better look. So now we have it with the glow and the gloss, the eye gloss. So now let's take all of these and you just have to move it to wherever you want it. I'm going to hide the eyes. So I've hidden the eyes and I'm just going to take this eye again and put it where I want it to go. Okay, maybe something like this. So now that I have it placed, I'm just going to duplicate all this starting from cornea. So I'm just going to go down the list. So this should be everything. Everything should be duplicated. Oops. Make sure no other layer is selected. That always gets me to accidentally select like a totally different layer. And this would all be easier if my if my actual mesh was on like a like a regular plane. So I could just not kind of like tweak it the way that I have to tweak it now, but that's okay. We'll kind of make them so he's looking in this direction. So now you just have to remember, it always starts at cornea, so I just remember my layers. And I, I can probably merge some of these layers that aren't additive layers, but I don't want to get all confusing, but you can probably merge like the uh, the iris and the eye because they're they're both opaque layers. So you can probably merge them, but I don't want to get confused. Okay, I think that looks pretty good actually. I can probably bring the the other eye out more. So I just want to like make sure that they look decent. Okay, I think that looks pretty good. So now I'll turn on post-processing again. And I'll bring back the the plane, and I'll turn off the environment. Let me go back to my view. There we go. And of course, um, if you want to adjust, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna add these blue ads both of them. I'm just going to simple merge them. That way, and I'll just rename it glow. 
So this way, this is just the glow layer. So if I wanted to change the colors, since I've simple merged them, I can just I want a different color I can do that and they're both additive so I can make it brighter or less bright as needed what color do I want them Maybe green. I feel like this nice pink is good. That kind of looks interesting to me. And I might bridge bring the, um, the environment up a little bit. So it's not so, so dark. Why is this... So it looks like there's some issues with the, okay, let's see. Maybe it is, okay, so it was the blue underneath. Okay, so it's the blue underneath. Uh, let's see if I need to change this color. So let's go to the other blue. And we'll just simple merge them. And I'm not sure how it fixed itself, but it seems to have fixed itself. So it was the it was the blue underneath for some reason that was affecting it. And you can keep it or get rid of it. I usually keep it because I, I don't like it to be super, super blown out. So I usually keep it. Let's go to our additive layer, our glow. And let's um, go to material and you can Change the opacity so it's not that bright. Okay. Go back to our view. That's much better. All right. Hopefully that helped. Keep drawing, keep sculpting, and I will catch you all in the next video. Could bring that eye out a little bit more, but it's fine. It's fine for now. Thank you guys so much for watching the video. Be sure to like and subscribe and hit the notification bell. That way you can come on and chat to me when I'm doing my live videos. Be sure to follow me on Instagram, Drug Free Dave, and Drug Free Dave 3D for all my new 3D work. I have about 11 Procreate digital art, Skillshare classes, and I have one Nomad Sculpt 3D class. I'm really excited about Skillshare. I have a Facebook group, Procreate Tutorials and Guidance, so maybe I'll see you on Facebook. As always, keep drawing, and I will catch you all in the next video.